If you get to manage other people, you'll see and understand why your bosses are sometimes distant and cold. Managing people is far more complicated than undertaking any task at work. People have different behavior patterns and different motivations. How you do it makes all the difference. According to Soapbox's blog, great leaders go deeply into what is really going on, what emotions are driving their employees, and what perceptions might need to be adjusted. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 17 traits of a good boss. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. He is interested in your career advancement. A good boss does not just want to milk you of what you're worth. He doesn't see you as just another element that contributes to his business success. He sees you as a human that has dreams and aspirations and tries to understand how working with him can help you actualize this. A good boss wants you to have the best experience possible and will not manipulate you to stay if you have gotten a better opportunity. 2. Informs you of opportunities for development. A good boss looks out for conferences and seminars his employees can attend to better themselves. There is always something new that needs to be learned. While this will also benefit your employer because you will end up using the new information to implement better process for the company. Still, some bosses do not even want their employees to grow at all, out of fear that they might outgrow them. If your boss has never shared an opportunity with you in over a year of working with them, start considering a new role. Working is not just about being busy and getting paid. You can only build a career when you are actively growing. 3. Respects your personality. Some bosses treat everyone the same and try to motivate everyone the same. This almost always never works. Some are primarily money-driven. If you can double their salary, they'll go to the moon and back. They're also most likely to take a bow when a better offer comes along. Some people work better alone, while some of those work better with others. A good boss knows all the names of his employees and their personalities. He can tell who is most likely to complain about a task, and sometimes who is likely to ask for a raise first. 4. Values your time. Some bosses give you excess work and expect you to put in overtime without extra pay. They exploit you until you quit. According to Forbes, it's too expensive to invest time, energy, and resources into dealing with the fallout of bad bosses who compel their employees, often the best performers, to leave. Imagine you could have spent two years developing a business that can make you a millionaire in five years and you spent it working at a place you can't really place what you have learned. 5. Values your contributions most employees value being recognized for their contributions more than how much they are paid. If you pay someone a premium salary and treat their work like trash, sooner or later, you will lose them. 6. Encourages you during difficult tasks. Good bosses know that every employee contributes to the overall growth of the company and will try to encourage them when they encounter difficulties in the execution of their task. Are you an employer? Have you ever worked alongside your employees? When your employees know you are human, it is easier to buy your vision. 7. Pushes you to become your very best. Some bosses do the exact opposite. They spend time showing you how flawed your work is and how lucky you are to have a job at all. They pick at your confidence until you have none left. Good bosses don't do this. They insist on results because they place confidence in your ability to push through. They don't let you quit. They push you until you become a better version of yourself. Everyone has a mental limit. The job of the boss is to push that limit until you are at your best. 8. Models and instills discipline. Good bosses instill discipline in their employees. They are always early and therefore encourage punctuality. They do their jobs and expect everyone to do theirs. Everyone is different, but good bosses can get through to their employees. Even those who did not come from backgrounds where discipline is emphasized learn discipline on the good bosses. They set clear goals and vision for their company and sell to their employees. They are very unrelenting and guide their people to be as well. They teach them how to take rejection and how to achieve their goals strategically. 9. Values your mental health People who value your mental health are your friends. Mental health is essential, especially in today's modern age. Good bosses don't yell at their employees or emotionally abuse them. They also don't manipulate them. They try to build professional relationship with their employees, which helps in their relations at work. They try to understand their employees to work more efficiently with them. Bad bosses do not have a lot of patience. They order people around. Sometimes, they even assault their employees. According to a poll by MSN News in 2017, 31% of people in the US have been sexually harassed in the workplace. 45% of women said they were sexually harassed and 15% of men said they were. Every employee deserves a work environment that is not toxic to both their physical and mental health. 10 notes your progress and encourages you. 
good bosses collaborate well with their human resources department to note the progress of their employees. When it is a multinational, this is not always possible. However, in a multinational, your direct supervisor is usually your boss. The director will likely not even know your name or the name of your department. Do you work in a multinational? Does your supervisor check on you to see how your personal development is going? 11. Provide strong visionary leadership. Great bosses are visionary. Their ideas are beyond money. The business will make money, but this breed of bosses value the impact it will have on people more. They inspire their employees to lead in different segments of their industry of work and make time to speak to them. As a result, the people who work under them flourish. People without vision are usually not as focused as people who do. Visionary bosses work hand-in-hand -hand with their employees towards their goals. 12. Offers mentorship in the course of your career. Does your boss ever sit down with you guys to teach you some fundamental principles that have helped them? If the answer is yes, you are in good hands. There is hardly a teacher as effective as experience. Your boss likely has far more experience in business and work than you do. He or she can teach you things that can help. Good bosses mentor their employees. They sometimes run internship programs and work placements and put their employees in charge. The more responsibilities they give to their employees, the better they turn out. Does your boss send you for retreats or conferences where you can network with others? 13. Inspires growth. Good bosses inspire growth amongst their employees. They put in their best and teach others how to do the same. Some bosses do the opposite. They want everyone to work hard to push them. They want everyone to see their success as their success. So, this model only breeds contempt and spite. People don't want to feel like slaves to your dreams. It also makes employees look out for only their interests since the boss looks out for only his own. It will not breed the right type of environment for creativity, collaboration and innovation. 14. Allows you to have family time and observe important holidays. Some bosses don't care about your personal life, not that they should, but they should at least respect it. Imagine being sent a work email on Christmas Day or Easter Day. Work is important, but family is often more important than work. People need to realize this. A good boss recognizes all holiday and will not send a work email on any of those days. They will also typically not call and even remind anyone that tries to come that it's holiday time so that they can go home and rest. This, of course, does not apply to essential services like health-related services, telecommunication services, and banking services. 15. Does not coerce, control, manipulate, or intimidate you. A good boss will not try to control you to get you to work. They will not threaten to give you a bad recommendation if you leave to make you stay. A good boss will instead protect you in any way they can. They take responsibility for your actions and work with you to produce the best results. 16. Looks out for you. Good bosses look out for opportunities that can improve the career of their employees. Good bosses may go out of their way to secure foreign work placements for their staff, even though their staff may choose to leave them for their new company. They also give a good recommendation to other employees when the employee leaves them, even if they miss the person. 17. Do not condemn you in the face of mistakes. A good boss knows that mistakes are prone to occur, especially when their employees are under a lot of pressure. They try to be patient. Instead of condemning you, they teach you how to do it properly. A good boss asks questions, while a bad boss complains. A good boss wants to understand how a model will work, while a bad boss tells you to make it work. It all depends on the situation. But bad bosses always do things that are not in the best interest of their employees.